Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Getting to Know Todoist series. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through what I would describe as an advanced task, but it is a request uh, to know more about how to use a what I found is possibly a unique feature in Todoist, which is templates and how to create a template and how to install a template. So let's first of all, let's go to uh, my work project and create a new project. This one, let's call this my YouTube video series uh, because this is a recurring project. So YouTube video series and it's a work project so let me colour it red, add the project and I'm going to drag it into my work uh, project series. Right, so to do this what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create uh, a number of tasks. So plan out next uh, YouTube video and we're going to do that. Uh, actually at this stage I don't really need to put in a schedule because this is just going to be a uh, a template so I would probably do that at my computer so we can add that task um, record new YouTube video and again I would do that at my computer and add the task edit YouTube video Again, at computer, and at the task. So, I have three, oh, one more, uh, post YouTube video. Um, again, at my computer. Right, so, we have four tasks here. And this is something that's going to recur every week. Now, to be honest with you, I prefer to use uh, repeating tasks recurring tasks because it helps me a lot better when I'm doing my uh, weekly review. However, I know some of you want to uh, learn how to use the templates in, in Todoist. So what we do is we go to the icon here, and uh, the toolbar icon, which is on the right hand side of the project. Now, just bearing in mind that you could, you could go to the additional notes on the right hand side of the project but I, it doesn't obviously work because there's nothing there. What you have to do is open the project in its own list view, go to the tool icon, click the tool icon and it says export as a template CSV. Click that and you will get an option. Export as file which is the way I would prefer to do it and export as a shareable URL and basically what you would get there is a URL which you could import into your Todoist program but I'm going to export this as a file because I think the file is much more interesting and whoops there you go you can see the file disappearing uh, I'm going to move that from my oops from my downloads folder because the downloads folder is where are you where are you where are you so I'll just move that to my desktop It'll be much easier to open when we're ready so now let's get rid of this project uh, I can now delete this project so we can go down to delete project and OK so now I want to import a project so I'm going to add a project and call that YouTube Ooh, YouTube video series add the project and now the project is here oops I've clipped that and we're going to put that there so I'm going to indent it one see how you can easily indent by the way when you're using Todoist and now what I'm going to do is click on my toolbar again and it says import from template and I can now drag this CSV file onto the um, bar and now, as you can see, exactly as I set it up before, plan out next YouTube video, record new YouTube video, edit YouTube video, post YouTube video. It all comes in there. So, this is really, really quite simple. All you have to do is 
just to show you again, go to the open the project in its own window, go to the toolbar, the tool icon, click on the toolbar, export as a template. Um, if you, by the way, if you export as a shareable URL, uh, you can now copy and paste that. And if you wish, you could actually uh, copy and paste that. Actually, I'll show you how we do that. Um, so add a task, link to new template. And I'm going to add a note to this. And so, oops, computer. I'm going to add a note to this, a quick note. I'm going to paste it into there and add the task. Now, when I want to open this um, to do this, I can just click on this and template, and I can now click on import. So import it, and what I will find is my Todoist, close that, and that has come into, it should have come into here, let's just click out of that, go back into that, uh, it's already there, so it's actually come into there. However, as I say, I do not particularly like doing it that way. I much prefer to do it this way, which is click on that, uh, export as a template, export as a file, boom, it goes out. And then if I delete this, I can open it up as a new project. So I can now create a project. Oh, my new... <laughs> it's... The one I sent from the uh, web has already come in. I do find that I'm going to have to uh, edit this because I would have to put the flag. Um, so edit project and add the flag, say blah, 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 and it's now in. Um, but just keep in mind with this particular project, um, You can tell, by the way, that I don't usually send it as a web link. Um, so, going back to what I was doing before, um, we'll delete that project, uh, create a new project, YouTube video series, um, label it as the colour I want, indent it, add the project, move it to my work folder, and then all I have to do is click on the toolbar, tool icon, import from template, I can drag the template onto there and boom everything is there. Okay, I hope that uh, shows you how to use templates. Uh, as I say, personally I prefer to use recurring tasks as I like to be able to see everything that I'm doing when I do my weekly review. More on that in another episode, but that should show you the basics at least of using uh, templates and importing templates into Todoist. I hope you found that useful. If you have any comments or any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. In the meantime, I hope you are having a fantastic week and hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.